All these guys going to live have made it pretty clear that it's all about money. I mean, growing the game, but also money. So, to me, that's disappointing. The PGA Tour introduced big money signature events last year to entice golfers to stay with the circuit. Hugh said that model is not sustainable because it means tournament sponsors have to double their financial undertaking without the product changing in any significant way. It would be silly for me not to play in these events, they are great opportunities, but I just don't think it's right," said Hughes, who is a member of the PGA Tours Player Advisory Council along with Corey Connors of Listowel, Aunt. Again, we have the same product that we had in 2019. Yeah, we want this increased investment. Not just increased, but increased in a big way. PGA Tour Commissioner Jay Monahan announced on June 6, two days before the RBC Canadian Open teed off, that the PGA Tour and Saudi Arabia's public investment fund, which owns Live Golf, had agreed to a merger. The details of that agreement were supposed to be finalized by Sunday, but that deadline came and went with no update, except that negotiations had been extended. Fans don't know where certain guys are playing, and their spats between the Live and the PGA Tour. And it's not unified in any way, shape, or form, said Hughes. There's negotiations going on that are unclear, they have been dragged on for a long time. Hughes said on Tuesday that he felt compelled to speak up, because he thinks the whole process could alienate viewers. The fan just wants to watch golf, said Hughes. I think you watch sports for an escape from other nonsense, but I think golf has brought a lot of nonsense onto its plate. And now, you don't get just golf, you get a lot of other stuff going on. It's a bit of a circus. Hughes and Connors are joined at the Century this week by Adam Svensson of Surrey B. C., as well as Adam Hadwin and reigning Canadian Open champion Nick Taylor, both of whom are from Abbotsford B. C. Taylor, who will be making his third appearance at the Century, said he took most of December off to spend Christmas back home in Canada. I'm going to be as prepared as I possibly can be, but I've probably played my best at times with low expectations, said Taylor. I'm trying to win this week, but knowing it's the first event of the year, there's going to be a little bit of rust, I'm sure, for a lot of people. I've been here since the 29th. I played nine every day, so that's going to help me kind of ease into the tournament. It's always a treat to be here, I don't care how many times you come.